Captain Starlog, July 9th, 2017. Well, I was able to go back out to the place where my escape pod crash landed. I was able to uh, bring it to the uh, my ancestor's house, and it's out in the backyard. I've been having to work on it. I'm trying to patch it in with the system, but most of the circuits are fried. But I'm still I'm going to be able to try to patch in if I can. I've been trying to use all the tools that I'm able to use here but there's only so much I can use because some of the tools that were meant for my escape pod don't even exist yet probably not for at least another uh, maybe 40 years before they even even develop them now <clears throat> now one of the things I need to do is I need to find a uh, set of cables now I do have a uh, set of hookups that I'm going to use to hook up to this laptop that they call it during this time and use it to patch in to the system and once that's done if I can get access to at least to some of the files at least for some of the tools that I need I can use this uh, thing that um, how my ancestor called it a 3D printer to use and see if I can try to replicate the tools. I'll try my best but there's no telling if I'm going to be able to get all of them off the database. I have no clue if the database is scrambled or not, but I'm going to try my best. Other than that, I was at least able to get the door open, at least, because the door has been wanting to at least freeze shut. I've been trying. I finally was able to pry it open with a crowbar, and uh, and it's but it's permanently it's open to the elements that's the thing so I had to get a, uh, a some rope and tarps to keep it from uh, collecting any moisture on the inside so I don't want any more of the systems to get up uh, to get more messed up than they already are um, I was able to find the uh, the main crawl space area where I can work on some of the main circuits and then I'll be able to patch in to the main system now I don't know which circuit is which to at least gain access to at least some of the files now um, from what I do know is that we were also working on a uh, new top secret um, machine that they wanted us to test on board the Enterprise especially for when uh, Admiral Archer was on board because he wanted to for oversee it himself before we could uh, make it official um, don't tell anybody but we were uh, also experimenting with a, uh, a new type of uh, transporter that we wanted to use on board the escape pods and on board the shuttle pods and uh, the new transporter system is able to do a emergency transport right off the ship to anywhere so we would never have to land any of our escape pods just in case if it got fried or something but it would uh, emergency transport us out of there onto um, any vessel or planet habitable in the system but it would only it would only detect the closest one um, it's it's a small scale little bit of a transporter it's not like the main one on the ship 
but it, uh, the ship one could transport at a greater distance but the new transporters that we have on board the escape pods are uh, are like a short range transporter but we would only use it in, in case of a uh, emergency now um, our uh, <clears throat> spacesuits that we got it would work on them too we've already tested that so the tran so our new short range transporters can at least beam the spacesuit with a human inside it or uh, any person whatsoever <clears throat> um but we have a lot of new top secret technology that uh and new weapon systems that we were going to test but we never even got the opportunity to test it all because Daniel said he needed us in this new uh, in, I don't know what it was I have very vague memory of what he was talking about something along the timelines that was getting messed up I don't know what it was but I'm gonna find out eventually but I won't be able to find out until after I get access to my stasis pod well to my escape pod I don't know how long it's gonna be but it's gonna take some time I've been having to work my butt off trying to get into that system apparently I'm gonna need a certain type of cable to get into it but um, I've also been trying to work with this recording device that one of that my ancestor gave me called an iPhone 6s it's an old piece of tech compared to my timeline though but my ancestor is very open-minded very open-minded he's a really nice guy I'll tell you that and what's even more weird is he kind of look he kind of looks really similar to me well he he is like one of my great 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 grandfathers but it, it's been a long time so I don't I I wouldn't know specifically who he actually is but he's a really nice guy um one of our other projects that we were working on was going to be uh, uh, oh, darn it man uh, I'm sorry I'm gonna have to recharge the device to at least continue my records I'm sorry uh, in transmission